Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at creating a splash screen within Excel Now a splash screen is a kind of introductory message to a program or application It can be used to provide you know, some kind of branding, showing your company logo providing information to the user and this kind of stuff uh, I'm just going to look at creating a simple little splash screen which we have the computer gaga logo and a little kind of tagline saying what we do here which is to provide office tutorials tips and downloads first thing we'll need to do is open up the VBE the visual basic editor and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt and F11 to do that so alt F11 and I'm into the VBE at the moment on the left hand side I can see the projects as usual and at the bottom there is already a form called splash screen which if I double click will open up this is just a simple user form insert and user form that I have created and I'll just stack a simple picture on the top here and in a kind of label box with a tagline it's just a simple user form which you can create one and set it up however you wish using your toolbox down here to put on the required controls so this is my user form this user form is called splash screen which I can see in the properties down here it's got the name splash screen now what we need to do is just put in some simple VBA some simple procedures that will get this to work really get it to appear as soon as we open the workbook and then to disappear after about five seconds so first we need to do is get it to appear and on the left hand side I'm going to double click on the This Workbook project to open up the This Workbook code module. At the top, with the very first drop down list, I will choose the Workbook object. And from the second drop down list, actually, I don't need to choose anything, it's got the right one for me. <laughs> we want Open, the Open Event. So we can see our, uh, our kind of starting and ending uh, lines of our procedure now. It's a sub for uh, opening the workbook. In between, I'm just going to type a very simple line that will just say splash screen because that is the name of our form. So I could have called it anything. It doesn't have to be splash screen. But in this case, it is show. Show the splash screen. That's it. So as soon as the workbook is opened, using that event, it will show the splash screen. Okay, with that working, next step <coughs> is to put a time on that splash screen until it disappears or it, it unloads really what we're going to do for this I'm just going to pop back to the form and double click somewhere on that form to take me into the user form object and at the moment an event saying click I don't want that event what I'm actually looking here is for the activate event the activate event will occur when the user form is opened and when it opens I want to kind of start up a timer really that will count for five seconds and then run a procedure to close it so within the, the brackets here for the user form activate I will type another simple line of VBA a bit more than the last one it's going to be application on time so the on time uh, method of the application object yeah, or on time event is, is commonly called because you're kind of creating an event. I'm going to set it to be now, so whatever the current time is, or whatever the time is that this uh, user form is activated. Plus, I'm going to enter the time value. Of 00005. So, 5 seconds after activation to run another procedure called close form now close form doesn't exist yet uh, I'm still to create that but that is what it will look for and it will run okay here we go so say the the on time event or or method here will look at whatever the current time is add five seconds on top of it and that's when it will run this procedure last step is to now create this closed form procedure this will be done in a standard module of which I don't currently have in the project explorer so I'm going to insert 
a module. It goes module one, and I'm gonna write a create a macro or a procedure, which I will call close form. Because see, that's what the other one is is looking to run. And all it's going to do is it's going to unload splash screen. So the splash screen uh, object form really here is going to be unloaded. And that is that. Hopefully now if I look at, uh, if I close down this, this VBE and I'll save and close my form back to my desktop. See my dog there. Open up the splash screen Excel spreadsheet and on opening, if it ever gets there, we have our splash screen. Up the form pops, computer gaga, and then it disappears after about five seconds. And that is that. That is how to create a splash screen uh, within Excel. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tutorials at computergaga.com. I hope to see you soon.